Rob, the superintendent tells me they want to make room for families who aren't comfortable with the mask mandate while also following recommendations from health experts since all students aren't fully vaccinated. Parents and students like Jameson Beaker. I think that people should have the right to choose what they believe. Gather outside Harlan Community High School Thursday. I definitely do not like wearing masks and feel like it's not the best for me. After expressing concerns about the mask mandate all year, Jameson's parents, Jim and Sharon, say they decided to file a lawsuit and injunction against the district. We have made the decision as a family to take it as far as we feel we need to take it. On Wednesday, the district started separating students who choose not to wear a mask from students who do. Yesterday, uh, I got stopped in the hallway uh, well before I made it to to class and pretty much just got put in the auditorium all day. Thursday was day two of the district placing students who don't wear a mask in other areas like the auditorium and library. But the interim superintendent says this isn't a punishment. I'm trying to find a means to continue to keep educating those students but yet separate them um, from the, the classrooms where masks are required. Parents say they also heard of students being denied meals if they didn't wear masks. Lynn Johnson says there was a situation Thursday morning where a food service personnel told a student they had to wear a mask to get breakfast. That is really not how we're going to do business. We're going to, we need to give our kids, uh, serve our kids food regardless. So that's been rectified and that that won't happen again. Johnson says she understands where these parents are coming from, but has to consider other perspectives too. Mass or not mass, that's, there's no middle ground there. You know, we're at halfway or there, that's not a middle ground. So it's, it's a little bit more difficult to resolve. Now, Johnson says the mask guidelines are made by the school board. The board president told me in a statement they're, quote, willing to consider modifying current practices if the conditions or data indicate that is what's best for students and staff. In the newsroom, Quinicia Fraser, KETV Newswatch 7.